and welcome back to another weekly vlog. So I haven't done one of these since um, we moved in, so probably about a month ago now. Um, and I just thought I would do another sort of like what I've been getting up to recently kind of vlog. Um, I have my Topshop personal shopping appointment in here, which is super exciting. I know that's one that you guys really, really enjoy. Um, and then there's a little bit of sort of house hunting in here as well. Um, and yeah, just sort of general life. So I've just been to the gym. Um, I've recently joined David Lloyd and um, I just did a blaze class, which I absolutely loved. I feel like you probably would have heard about it on Instagram. Um, it's like a high intensity workout, which is really, really good. Um, it doesn't really feel like you're working out because it's quite fun. Um, so I've been doing them for the last couple of weeks. But anyway, I've just been there. I've just got in the shower and now I'm home and I'm just gonna get ready because we have two house viewings later. One of them is a second viewing. Uh, one of them is a totally like new viewing, but we have kind of fallen in love with a house. Um, but, I don't know, I'm like really nervous obviously because a house that we really liked before fell through and stuff like that so I don't know, we'll see. But anyway, I am just going to cleanse and everything like that and then get my makeup on and then I can chat to you more about the house and stuff. Um, and then I'll also pop in the Topshop personal shopping footage that I got yesterday. So first up, I'm going to cleanse my skin. I did a cleanse before my workout earlier and then I'm just going to do one now, obviously, because obviously after a workout, although I've had a shower and everything like that, your skin is still full of like a lot of bacteria and sweat and everything like that. So let's just tie my hair up. So if you guys have been watching my videos for a little while, you'll know that I use the Foreo Luna Mini 2 to cleanse my skin. It's absolutely brilliant for getting really, really deep into your pores. It's also just a really nice gentle massager as well. So I'm gonna go in with the Espar cleanser, which I'm actually running out of, but I love this stuff. So I just took my face. So I'm gonna pop the cleanser onto the Luna Mini 2 and just go ahead with it. I love how much of a deep cleanse this gives, especially after a workout, um, because that is when your skin is most receptive to cleansing. Little fun fact for you. Um, so yeah, like I said, yesterday I headed down to Topshop to go to my first personal shopping session in Manchester, which was fun, because all the other ones I've done before have been in London. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, today we've got some viewings, and I'll give you a little update on the house situation as well. Um, so yeah, as you can see, obviously, just putting the cleanser all over my face. I love the shape of the Luna Mini 2 as well because you can really get into like the little kind of like nooks and crannies of your face. Um, and it just leaves you feeling really, really clean and fresh and is a perfect base for your makeup. Obviously now I'm going out some viewing so I'm gonna put some makeup on. Um, so yeah, it's a great sort of start to your makeup routine as well. Okay, so it is Okay, I haven't actually got that much time. Um, so I'm gonna go get ready, put my makeup on, everything like that, and then I will come back and talk to you afterwards about the houses that we're going to see and sort of where we are in the process. And yeah, I'm gonna pop in the um, footage that I got from yesterday in now so you can see all the personal shopping and stuff because I know that a lot of you are here for that. So yeah, I'll catch up with you guys after. Today is one of my absolute favorite videos to film. And as you guys will see from the title, today we are going to Topshop to do a personal shopping session. Now I have done these, I think I've probably done about four or five of these over the last sort of year. Um, and basically I have a contract with Topshop, as you guys will know, um, if you follow me on Instagram and stuff. Um, and as part of that contract, every three months, I head on down to their personal shopping suite. So basically a stylist will pick me out some bits, I'll try it all on, and yeah, we'll just have loads of fun. So I'm really excited for that. This morning, can you guys hear that? My car was like... <laughs> calming down <laughs> it's making loads of noise anyway this morning i went into town and i got my eyelashes done i don't know how well you're going to be able to see because i'm in kind of like the light hopefully you guys can see um i got them done by a lovely girl um who um works just on john dalton street in town so if you know manchester you know where that is um so yeah really really happy with them they're beautiful they're so natural and that's exactly what i want when i go for lash extensions um i just want something really really natural so i will leave all of her details down below um and then i went and got a salad from chopped which was actually really horrible so i don't recommend um no i do i have had salads from there before that were nice but that one was a dodgy one. Anyway, 
now I am at the Trafford Centre, um, which is the big shopping centre in Manchester. I normally do these personal shopping sessions in London, but obviously, as you guys will know, we moved up to Manchester and they have them here. So I just thought, may as well try out a new place. I might go back to London and do them um, for my next time or something. I don't know, we'll see. Um, I just had a very stressful parking situation. Um, lots of people waiting for me. I couldn't like reverse enough. I just wasn't at the right angle. I was about to give up and then I thought, no, I can do this and I did it. So yeah, anyway, after that whole long ramble, I better go. Um, my personal shopping session is in half an hour, um, but I need to go to Zara and return some stuff first. And then, yeah, that's about it really. And um, people are walking past staring at me. Um, you think I would have got used to that by now. Um, I'm really, really excited to go into Topshop because obviously we're like mid-August now and the weather is like really crap. And I think I'm just ready for like my autumn winter wardrobe. There's loads of nice coats. I had a little look on their website last night and there's loads of nice jackets and stuff. So yeah, very excited. So if I sort of buy anything else anywhere else as well, I will show you. So it'd be like a little bit of a mini come shop with me, but I'm not really shopping anywhere else but Topshop today. Um, but I do need to return some stuff to Zara and knowing me, I'll probably end up buying more stuff from Zara. So, let's go. So, starting here, I pulled a nice little daytime outfit. Um, starting with this lovely yeah, caramel love blazer, and it's got like a really lovely raw red, oh, so yeah. it's like a nice, like, it's a bit different, isn't it? it? Yeah. yeah, nice little graphic tee with that. Hair accessories are just everywhere. I know, I love them. a hairband. And then I've got like caramel and pink together. Yeah, that looks really nice. And I pulled that with those acid wash straight legs, cool. And then just done like pink accessories. Oh, wow. Really, really cute. Full outfit there, I love it. Full outfit. <laughs> yeah, you've got like, your little bag, your little yeah. bag. Yeah. And then I thought a nice little mid white. I have them. Like I love them. them. Yeah, I wear them oh, all the time. Yeah. The right <laughs> and then I also pulled a little like western boot as well. You could do something yes. like that at the bottom as well. Be really Can't cute. wait for boot season. <laughs> oh my God, we're getting so many I know. <laughs> so sticking with your straight leg jeans and mm -hmm. these accessories, then I pulled this brand new blouse. Oh, that's cute. Today. So cute. Yeah. Prairie like, blouse. Like boho vibes and again you could just do that little yeah nice and simple it's really nice sick, gorgeous next i've gone for this skirt which is part of the new mm, island yeah i've seen Absolutely that actually gorgeous. so that's got like two splits in the front when you walk it just moves beautifully yeah really, really Oh, nice. And then I pulled that with that little look Oh, together. cute. That's so really nice. Tea, nice little like clash and, yeah. and the leopard print. That actually works though, like really nice well. nice little like neat petite jacket mm -hmm. just to finish the outfit off. Oh, that's but really yeah, nice. And those shoes. These are really cute as well. These have got that little studs going over them. Oh, the yeah. Brown. You could do something like that. Yeah, that looks good. But also a trainer would be great at the bottom yeah, of that Yeah, yeah. Well. Oh, I love how, you know, you've done all the accessories and everything and everything matches so oh, nicely. <laughs> so next, this came in yesterday and I just love it. Oh, wow. Such a cool suit. Topshop always do such good suits. Yeah, so like tapered trousers with mm -hmm. pleats. And then I just do like a really nice, plain, little simple high neck top with that. Yeah. It's just so classy. Yeah. But that's really nice. You could do for a wedding. Yeah, or definitely. Just put a trainer on with that. And yeah. Wear it, like, dress yeah, just with, yeah, definitely. So jumpers. Yay, knitwear. <laughs> Gorgeous. I love a bit of knitwear. <laughs> I just went for a really classic one. Mm -hmm. And you can literally just do this with like some nice mom jeans. Like oh, yeah, that. they're nice. And then a look, nice little leopard print belt. And then these little mini bags are just so cute. <laughs> that, look at that, little detail that is so nice. Absolutely love that. <laughs> yeah, a little pop of colour with that. Yeah, I like the belt Again, as well. Yeah, just a nice little skinny mm. belt. Little trainer, little um, boot, just to give it like two different feels. Yeah. But then you could also do that with... Yeah, like with yeah, with some boots. That'd just be absolutely Yeah, that's gorgeous. really nice. Yeah. Really, really simple. That jumper's such gorgeous. a good staple, isn't it? Absolutely. So that's that one. And then I pulled the teddy bear coat. Seen that one. <laughs> Literally so yeah. nice. I'm yeah. like, is it too early in August? But I didn't think it is. Oh, I think <laughs> not. I mean, the weather's not great. I know, it? so I know, it, yeah. yeah just throw it over there. Really great cute. skirts as well. Like, it can just 
literally wear this with everything. Yeah, I love teddy coats. Nice neutral colour, it'll just mm -hmm. go with everything. That's literally like my ideal colour, that colour, love it. It's so soft. <laughs> and, uh, I love autumn winter. Yeah, same. And then I've two dresses. Mm -hmm. So the heart print. Oh, okay, I've not seen that one before. Really, really cute. And then. Mm, I've seen that on Instagram, print. yeah, yeah quite really a few nice. People have been like blogging about this. Yeah, one. yeah. It's so pretty on. And I just love these with the trainer. Yeah. Because they really, are quite yeah. formal, just dress them down. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then be really nice with that look. Denim, denim jacket, jacket or yeah, or a leather jacket yeah, or something. Yeah, I pulled a little leather jacket with this oh, one. Oh, perfect. Then next, I pulled these cords. Okay. They're like a flare. Oh, flare. Yeah. What you could do. I actually really like them. And this little outfit together. Oh my god, that's so cute. It's like a little chambray shirt. Yeah. Nice little pop of um, snake with the little box bag. Yeah. And then again, hair accessory and a nice little peach earring there. Just Amazing. quite tonal, but I can just imagine that with a nice trainer. Yeah, 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 like a chunky trainer. Lovely. And then. Love this dress. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. <laughs> oh yeah, this it's is such a nice dress. Idol range. Yeah. And just rocked up with a little leather jacket, nice little boxy bag mm. like that, and then great look. Um, yeah. Such a nice like autumn outfit, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it really like reminds me of like the old Kate Moss things that we used yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, actually. Really Even like the labelling and stuff's quite like vintagey. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Gorgeous. I'm really excited about the new idols. Mm, it's really, really cool. So I am now in Topshop, as you guys will have seen. Um, and Sarah, my personal shopper, just talks me through loads of outfits. And oh my god, I just love the thought that she's put into a lot of them. Sorry, it's really noisy here. Um, but I love the thought that she's put into them, like with all the accessories, like the headbands and the bags, and just everything like matches so nicely. Um, but I've just come out as well, just because. I don't want to like get all unchanged and then want to come and have a look at what they've got anyway so I thought I'll come out and do a quick scout around just in case there's anything that she hasn't picked up um I just like to oh, I just like to have a look like myself as well and I also might pick up some basic t-shirts and stuff so yeah I'm just gonna have a quick run round and then go and try everything on okay so I picked up a few bits I'll show you them more when I get into the um little person shopping bit yeah. Okay, so I've just tied my hair up because I get really hot and bothered trying stuff on. I've just used one of those like slip silk um, scrunchies. I don't know how well you can see, but my sister was raving about them, so I thought I would give them a go. Anyway, I just picked up a couple of jackets, um, just like these jackets um, and that one as well. Um, so yeah, let's get trying on. Okay, so this is the first jacket I thought I'd try on. If you guys have been here for a while, you'll remember I had one of these last winter um, and it was like a red and green check, but I really love the more sort of neutral colors in this. I think the um, collar is really cute as well, like the little curved detail, super comfy. Um, yeah, just a really nice jacket for kind of in between weather because it's quite thin, um, but it will still keep you warm. Um, and I would definitely pair this just with blue denim like I'm doing now. I think this looks like quite nice as an outfit. I've got a little white t-shirt underneath. Um, but I also think it would look nice with like some black jeans or like a full black outfit, maybe like a black roll neck and some boots or something. Uh, maybe some like Doc Martens. Um, so yeah, I really like this. I don't know what I'd do with the collar. I think I'd keep it down. Sometimes I like to like put the collar up, but yeah, I think it's really cute. So next up I have this kind of cream um, cropped knit on and I love this. I think it's such a flattering cut, like especially if you're wearing high-waisted jeans and stuff, I think it like hits really nicely um, just at the top of the jeans. It's got a little slit here, um, but can't really see anything through that. It's really, really comfy and I really like the neck as well. I really enjoyed high neck jumpers, especially in the winter, obviously when it's cold. Um, but I think this would work really well now, uh, just with a pair of jeans or maybe if you popped it on with like a skirt, like um, Sarah suggested wearing it with the leopard print midi skirt, which I'll try on as well. Um, yeah, I think it's like quite a good wardrobe staple really. I also like how it matches my Gucci loafers, which I wear all the time. Somebody commented on my photogram photogram what the hell was that word someone commented on my photo on instagram photogram is actually a new word i'm gonna copyright that anyway someone commented on my photo on instagram saying that i always wear these gucci loafers and i thought 
fun. These are bloody expensive. I'm getting my wear out of them. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I really like this. Um, I just think it's a really good staple to have and I think I'll probably get this one because I don't have like a nice crop length one in my wardrobe. Okay, so are we in coat season? Probably not. This is probably a little bit hot for right now, but I just saw this coat and I just absolutely loved it. I love the colour, love the button detailing, and I also love the lining. It's like this light blue. I think it's so nice. Obviously, you don't really see that, but it's just like a nice little touch. Um, I've got it on with that cream jumper, and I think the colours go really nicely together. And I also think it looks really nice with denim. Um, so yeah, I really like it. I've got this on in a size 10. I think it's kind of like the perfect sort of like not too oversized but a little bit oversized obviously you could do it up if you wanted to but i'd probably just wear it open um yeah just like this i don't know whether i'm peaking too soon looking at coats in august but i do kind of feel like summer is pretty much coming to an end and also i feel like if you wait and don't buy the coat and they sell out and that really annoys me <laughs> so yeah really like that one Okay, so next up I have this like khaki jacket on and I've been obsessed with like shirt jackets at the moment because I think when the weather's like not really warm enough to um, go out in just a t-shirt then I think a shirt jacket is a really really nice option. I already have a khaki one that I wear quite a lot but loads of you guys have asked me where it's from and unfortunately it's really old. So I thought this was a good alternative and I really like the detail to it, like the zip detail, the big chunky like utility pocket. I don't think the um, camera's picking up the colour very well. It's, quite like a nice kind of light khaki green don't know where to find maybe that lights a bit better actually it's just quite busy in the background there um but yeah really really like this love this with light denim but i also think this could look really really good with um black um some black skinny jeans some black leather leggings or some boots or something like that um and yeah at the moment i've just got it on with the cream jumper just to show how versatile this jumper is um but yeah love that i think it's really really nice i might actually put this one up because it is quite different to the other jacket that i have um so yeah okay i am an actual polar bear and i am loving it <laughs> so i have this like denim um jacket on and a really really nice cream color and it's got furry lining like all the way around as well it is maybe the warmest thing ever super cozy and i don't know i just love it this is a size 10 it's meant to be quite oversized obviously it needs a bit of an iron um but i just think it's so comfy and i know that i'll get so much wear out of this in the autumn winter i think it looks really nice with like denim like i'm wearing it now but again with black it would look really nice with like deep browns it would look nice like i've got a brown sweatshirt that would look nice with this um even just wearing it with like a white t-shirt i just think this is a really good staple and it's also something that i don't have in my wardrobe as well like i don't have any like fur lined denim jackets i only have like summery denim jackets so i quite like the idea of bringing denim into winter i just want to show you how lined it is look it's lined all the way down and then the sleeves are like quilted which obviously keeps you a little bit cooler sort of around the sleeve area but still so nice and warm Okay, I'm really sorry, the lighting just doesn't seem to be working very well on camera, but I've just tried on the little kind of high neck, sort of Victorian kind of cute, pretty blouse, and it's really, really nice. I really like it. I think this would be really good for work, um, because obviously it's high neck. It's super comfy as well, like the material is so soft, um, and, but I also think it looks really nice, maybe tucked into a pair of jeans. These jeans are Levi, by the way, if anyone's wondering. Um, just tucked in like that would look really cute with some little trainers or something or some boots um but yeah i also think maybe with like a pair of trousers literally behind me like some work style cigarettes this would look really nice it's just a really really nice sort of pretty piece um that i think you could get a lot of wear out of in your wardrobe so yeah i don't know if i'm gonna get this i'm just not 100 percent sure if it suits me because i've got quite broad shoulders and i always feel like these kind of style things kind of accentuate that um but in general i think it is a really really pretty blouse um and i think yeah you could wear it with a lot of things okay so i have the skirt on with a pair of boots and then the same jumper that i was wearing earlier um so i'm gonna get a little bit closer so you can see the skirt i really don't think the light is very good here i know i keep going on about it but camera's just not picking up the skirt at all there we go that's better <laughs> right um probably made me look very pale but so this is the skirt and i think it does like walk really nicely as you can see when i'm walking like you see a little bit of leg but not too much it's just like quite floaty um but yeah it's a really really nice skirt i think it's very flattering and um i love the fact that you could style it with a big chunky knit or you could also style it with a t-shirt um obviously the same sweater that i had on earlier and then these boots are amazing if i go in a little bit closer and show you they're like um kind of like a 
browny orangey snake print with a little flared heel and then they're quite sort of square toed they're super comfy as well obviously because the heel isn't very big i think these will look really cute not only with skirts but also with like some um leather leggings or some jeans or something like that so yeah i really like that i think this outfit's really cute actually i think with like maybe like a little camel coat over the top or something would look quite nice okay so <laughs> got these flares on so i'm wearing them again with this cream jumper it just goes with everything and also i can't bother like taking it off putting a t-shirt on but i think this works fine um so i have these like cord flares on and i absolutely love the shape and i love the color i'm just not 100 percent on the material just like something about this like i don't like feeling it do you know what i mean like i feel a little bit like I think it's just a personal thing with me and like this material um, but it's super soft I just feel weird touching it I don't know if anyone else gets like that but anyway I love the shape of these I think they're really cool I actually have a really similar pair in grey that are a different material um, they're more like just a ribbed kind of cotton material um, but yeah I think they're cool especially with like a big pair of chunky trainers and um, I think this goes really well with this top but I also think maybe t-shirt or something like that like um or even like a big shirt perhaps like Sarah suggested the one she's pulled out is like quite small it's quite short and I think I'd go for a more oversized shirt um but yeah just obviously preference um but yeah they're really cute just oh I don't like touching them <laughs> Okay, so I have one of the full outfits on that Sarah suggested. Um, so first up we have this blazer um, in this kind of like brownie, kind of brownie beige colour. I love the sleeves, like they're like a little bit flared and then obviously I have the raw hem which is nice. Um, and then I have this top on which says, it's cool to be kind, which I like. Um, and then the jeans. Now I really like the jeans, they're just too short for me. These are a length 30, um, so the straight leg. And I think I would need a 32 or maybe even a 34. Um, I think I have quite long legs. Um, and then I've paired it with this little pink hairband, which is super cute. I love a hairband. And I do think the pink and the brown goes really nice together. So yeah, that is that one. I think it's a really good one for just like day to day um, and stuff like that. So yeah. Okay, so I just saw these trousers hanging up over there. Um, and I just thought I'd try them on because I really liked them. Um, so yeah, I think I probably need 10. These are an eight. I think they're maybe a little bit too small, just around like my waist and stuff. But I love the detailing here. Um, and obviously this belt detailing and I just think they're quite flattering um, they're kind of a good length as well I'm just wearing them with flats I'm five foot five um, and they're kind of just skimming the floor um, but yeah I just thought that was quite a cute little get up I even like it with this t-shirt um, and obviously got my hairband in still um, so yeah overall I think they're really cute I might go try them on in a size 10 okay so next up i have the same dress on that sarah has on and i think it's so cute it's such a nice sort of like autumnal colors like obviously with the burgundies and the oranges and stuff so i've tied it at the back but you could also tie it at the front which i'll show you in a second um but i think it's gonna be really nice you know for day to day uh you know like with a leather jacket and some boots or wearing for work um with some loafers and i just think it would look really nice dressed up as well with some like black strappy heels or something uh, maybe for like a winter wedding or something like that so that is it just tied at the front just for a bit of a kind of baggier feel um i'll try it on with a leather jacket so you guys can see how that looks so this is it with a leather jacket and i've also just paired it with the black boots um i prefer gold hardware on like boots and stuff um and these have a silver bar so i won't get these but i do like the shape of them i think they're really cute um but yeah this is it paired with a leather jacket which i think looks really nice um, obviously the darkness in the jacket works well with the dark colours too so yeah so I've just tried on a pair of mum jeans um, and I actually really like these I really like the double split in the knee and they're super comfortable and like obviously I just put them on with the cream jumper to show you guys again how versatile the jumper is and just sort of how I would wear this kind of style I quite like how they're quite relaxed fit sometimes I find mum jeans can be very very like tight and uncomfortable but these are super comfy um, and they're just yeah quite casual I think they look nice with a white t-shirt and a blazer maybe um, but also look nice like this but also would look really nice maybe even with those boots that I tried on there sorry they're just my jeans in a pile on the floor there let's ignore them um, but yeah those boots would look quite cute Maybe even dressed up with some heels like these ones here that I already have and I absolutely love. You can check out my Instagram for like all the ways that I style them. Um, but yeah, I think these are really cute. They're so comfortable. I can't get over how comfy they are. And um, it's quite nice to sort of change up the washes because I always have, I have a lot of light wash jeans. So I don't have that many dark wash pairs. So yeah, I like these. These are, I have on in a waist 28 and a length 32. Okay, how bloody warm and comfortable does this look? 
literally like a little teddy bear. I love teddy coats. You guys only have to scroll back on my Instagram to see. That's pretty much all I wear in the winter. Um, and I love Topshop's version this year. It's really, really nice colour. don't even know if the colour's coming up as nice on camera. Um, but it's a gorgeous colour. It's so, like, big and chunky, which I love. Um, it's quite nice that it's not really long as well. It's a bit more manageable. Um, and it has the tortoiseshell buttons on there. And, yeah, I just love this big chunky collar. Um, I really, really like this. I think it's really cute. And I love the outfit as well, like, wearing it with the jeans and then, obviously, the jumper. I mean, I'm pretty hot right now, I'm not going to lie, but I do think that looks so cute. I also wanted to show you this bag that's hanging up here because it's a little bit like the Dior saddle bag in the terms of, like, kind of the shape of it. Um, and I just thought it was, like, a really nice high street version. So if anybody's in the market for sort of a similar bag to that, I definitely recommend checking Topshop out. I'm also kind of in love with these shoes. They're not my size, but I've seen quite a few people wearing them and I think they're so cute. Love them. Just thought I'd show you what I'm wearing today. So I've just got a um, white top on from And Other Stories. This shirt jacket thing, again, from H&M. Um, and then my Levi jeans and my white Gucci loafers. So I hope that you guys enjoyed um, watching me go to Topshop and everything like that and I will show you what I picked up. I actually picked up three things because I'm trying like where we're living in like temporary accommodation and stuff and we don't have a lot of space. I'm trying really hard to like really think about what I buy and I want it to come back and look in my wardrobe and then like assess the situation, see what I needed, what I didn't need, etc, etc. So I'll show you what I um, did get in the end. Sorry about all the mess everywhere. Sorry. Um, but I just sort of show you what I'm wearing. It's literally plain black t-shirt and plain black jeans because it's absolutely peeing it down outside. I don't know if you can hear it on the windows because um, I like those Velux windows. But yeah, it's literally pissing it down, which is so annoying. Um, but I'm just going to put some trainers on and then I think I'm going to put one of the jackets that I tried on yesterday, you know, the like um, cream denim jacket. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go do that and then once we get in the car, I'll talk you guys through what we're going to see and everything like that. I literally just ran outside for two seconds to get my coat out of the car and I just got absolutely soaked, literally. Um, it's so annoying as well because I haven't brought any like waterproof stuff up to Manchester. So I need to go home and get my coats and stuff. I haven't even got an umbrella. Um, but I'm just waiting for um, Sam to get home from work and then we can go. Hey guys, so I look a little bit of drowned rat, um, but... Sorry. You alright? <laughs> But we've done two of the viewings. Um, as I said, one of them was the second viewing, one of them was the first viewing. Um, the other one, it just needed loads of work, basically. Um, and it just, yeah, it just wasn't really right. Um, but the second viewing that we've just gone to see, we like love it even more than the first time. And I think there may be a good chance that we might be able to get it. So I'll obviously let you guys know if anything happens, but also I don't want to jinx it. So yeah, I'm excited though. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go get some dinner now um, and then yeah I'll chat to you at dinner so we have just come to a restaurant just to get some dinner um, it's really hot they've got the heaters on up there um, so I've taken my jacket off but I just feel so excited but also a little bit nervous I don't want to jinx anything um, we're waiting on a call from the estate agent um, but I think it's gonna be tomorrow now because it's quite, got like quite late um, basically the people that are selling the house are on holiday and um, they were kite surfing so we're waiting for them to stop by surfing and um, get back to our offer. So yeah, <laughs> I always do this. I get so excited, so I don't want to like get my hopes up too high. But fingers crossed. Um, I should probably go tell you in this vlog what's happened, hopefully. Um, but obviously, it all depends on like completion and like all that, like the su survey. Su wait, the, why can I say that word? Surveys and stuff like that. Um, so yeah. my heart away when a bit too far so wrong oh, no. wearing sam's hat to um shield from the rain <laughs> really suits me I'm gonna head to the food shops now pick up some food for tomorrow and um yeah just go home still haven't heard from this agent so i think we'll hear from him tomorrow um but yeah everyone so it has been a little while since i last spoke to you um, I think the last time I spoke to you was when we were finding out whether we got our offer accepted on the house, potentially. I can't really remember. But anyway, long story short, I think that was on Thursday that I spoke to you. And basically the weekend was just a little bit crazy. Now, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you will maybe have seen this on my stories. But long story short, um, my mum has gone to hospital on Thursday night. 
um, and she was in hospital for a couple of days um, having all sorts of scans and stuff like that and um, she was let out on Saturday morning um, with a diagnosis that was quite shocking um, and quite upsetting. Um, I've spoken about my mum's health a little bit on Instagram um, and on YouTube before um, but obviously like I'm not going to go into it in too much detail because obviously it is private and stuff but yeah I just wanted to let you know that, that happened and then on Saturday I was out for dinner with my boyfriend and my boyfriend's mum and her boyfriend and basically I had an allergic reaction to something I ate, a really severe one, I had anaphylaxis, um, if you guys are familiar with that you'll know that it's like a life-threatening allergic reaction um, so anyway I had to go to hospital in an ambulance and I spent all of Saturday night and Sunday morning in the hospital um, and then I came home and I just slept all day on Sunday pretty much slept all day on Monday and today is Tuesday and I'm feeling so much better um, I'm like pretty much recovered now um, and my mum is a lot better too so yeah I know I'm sort of you know talking about this with like a big smile on my face and stuff but it was a really really stressful horrible weekend so that is why I haven't vlogged anything or filmed anything um, and yeah but now we are back um, you know start of a new week and everything it's Tuesday today and yeah I just thought I would sort of finish off this vlog talk to you a little bit about um, what else has been happening and yeah so in terms of the house although the weekend was very stressful um, one good thing did come out of it and that was that we did get our offer accepted on um, the house so we fought off the competition there was another couple that wanted it as well um, that were in quite a similar position to us but um, I think we kind of played it right in the sense that um, the owners want to sell to us so yeah um, and so just that's kind of it really like so excited obviously you don't need to do any more house viewings fingers crossed it all goes well obviously I know that things can change with sort of surveys and like stuff like that um, or you know the chains but luckily there isn't actually a chain in this so yeah but anyway um, so I just want to say prepare for more house content on my Instagram I'm, not my Instagram, my Instagram as well, but my YouTube as well. Um, I'm gonna go like home shopping and all of that. Obviously we've got the moving vlogs, although we won't be moving in for like probably at least two months, uh, just before sort of everything gets sorted. Um, but yeah, so super excited about that. It is a amazing house and I'm so happy that we found it and it's a great location and it's just basically everything that we wanted. So it doesn't really need like any major work or anything. It just needs decorating, which obviously I will take you guys along for the journey of that as well. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, I want to show you what I got in my Topshop personal shopping session. Now I will say, I don't know whether, I haven't watched the footage back yet, but I don't know if I came across quite sort of quiet and stuff in that video because I had just found out that my mum was going into hospital at that point but I had this personal shopping appointment and like I was gonna go to it anyway so I don't know if I was a little bit quiet in that video or whether I managed to like mask that a little bit but um, for that reason I didn't really do the full sort of shopping experience like I do normally do with the Topshop personal shopping I just wasn't in the right frame of mind I wasn't in the right mood um, but I did pick up a few bits so first up I picked up this jumper which I tried on in there um, which you guys will remember and I also picked up the sort of cream denim jacket which um, I'll put on in a minute because it's what I'm going to wear today and then I also picked up the khaki shirt jacket and they were the only three things that I picked up um, but yeah I just want to update you with that because obviously I know normally when I do a personal shopping video if you've come from my ones before um, I get crazy and I like, get loads of stuff and I'm in there for hours but this time I just like really needed to get out I didn't have any signal on my phone as well the whole time that I was in there and um, I just really wanted to like obviously text my mom and like my dad and find out what was going on so yeah that was why it wasn't like a really in-depth personal shopping appointment sorry for that but there will be more so don't you worry so on that note I'm gonna finish the vlog here just because there isn't really too much else that I'm doing today um, I'm just working catching up because obviously I took Monday off like when I wasn't feeling very well um, so yeah and then I think my next vlog might be some more sort of home related bits. I think I'm going to go to HomeSense, which is somewhere I haven't been in like two months and I'm actually having withdrawal symptoms. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to go to HomeSense and like just start having a little look at like little bits and bobs and try to get some inspiration from places. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching guys. I'm sorry it was a bit all over the place, but as you guys will now know, it was a little bit of a stressful time, but I wanted to get this vlog up anyway. So I will catch you guys in my next video and have a good weekend or a good week or whatever it is that you're watching this. <laughs> Bye.